Hello and welcome to Lilybrook. We're on the par 5 8th, the only par 5 on the course. Now, I've been playing this quite well recently because I've been driving it up the left underneath the left hand tree and that gives me a straight shot down the hole with a 3 wood and I can get quite close and I've been making pars and the occasional birdie. But when I go up the right, then I'm behind the other big tree, my only option is the 4 iron chip and run along the floor. So is there a safer way of playing this? Well, let's find out. I got the hybrid. Now I still want to go up the left. So let's aim there. Little fade, heart of the fairway. Bouncing to the left. That's perfect. Let's see what we got left. Well, the tee shot's safe. Center of the fairway. I got 305 yards. But from here, this tree over here is the left side of the fairway. And there's a ditch down the left. So this big thing is actually in my way. So I need a fade. But as we're playing safe, I've got a four iron. I'm going to aim at that left hand tree in the left rough. Let's see if we can hit the high fade. Well, I've hit it a little off the toe. And it's down the left hand side. Hopefully it won't be in the ditch. But I don't think it's working so far. Right, I got 137 left. You know, I have been in much worse positions than this after two shots. Most notably in that ditch just to my uh, right, your left. Um, yeah, I've caught up the group in front. We may have to wait a while. So. Playing the par five safely, is it a good idea on this particular hole? I'm going to say yes, and I'm going to say no. I mean, I was a little right of centre. No, I wasn't right of centre, was I? I was exact centre, and I had no shot down this hole without hitting quite a fade. And because I didn't hit the fade, I'm over here just off the left edge of the fairway. If I'd hit a slight pull instead of uh, the slight fade, I'm in there and I'm dropping out for three and then I'm playing four onto the green and then two putting for a six. So I suppose you, uh, you pay your money, you take your choice. Let's see if I can finish the hole off in a few minutes. Right, 137, eight iron. Just waiting for these people to move. Joe, you know, when I got to my ball, they were literally in the ditch on my left, just there. Did they invite me through? No. That's an issue. Oh, that's a bit right. Kick off that bank. Oh no, that's huge. Oh well. Well, I guess I've been in worse positions than this after three shots. But this ain't pretty. Do you know, I could probably put this down here and do just as well as I can with my sandwich. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to uh, take that. I could have putted it down there a little better. Because we're always afraid of the ball going way past the flag. When rarely that is the issue. Most of the time the issue is actually getting it on the damn green. Yeah, 
Yep, that's gone. That's a bogey. Actually, if this was a competition, that's rather a nasty three-footer coming back, isn't it? Especially when you're not concentrating. So, a bogey from playing it safe. What do you do? I know what I'm doing tomorrow in the competition. I'm taking my driver. And then if I get it in the right place, then I can come at hard at the green. You know, get it up here to about 40 yards. Have a little pitch. So I think my strategy for this hole is to take driver and then choose whether to play safe or not for my second shot. Not play safe for my first shot. I don't know if that's going to be any use to you on your golf course, but it makes you think, doesn't it? Try something different. Is it better? Is it not better? This is what practice rounds are about. Cheerio. Cheerio.